Hi Taurus, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for April 15th through May 14th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Happy Mappy Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love. This is intended to be an all-encompassing reading, so it's just going to be whatever shakes out, um, going to be read. Uh, this typically is a romantic love reading though, so but it could be about business, job, family, all that. Um, this also could resonate with yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Taurus. Harsh truth. Harsh truth. Whoopsie. Truth for Taurus. King of Pentacles. That very well could be Taurus. Could be Virgo. Ace of Pentacles. Nice. Hanged Man, that could be Pisces. Ace of Wands, all right. Five of Swords. Three of Cups. The Devil. Don't panic. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. This could be Capricorn, Pisces. Okay. So what's this, what's this Ace of Pentacles about for Taurus? Knight of Wands, all right. What's this hangman about? Four of Cups, what's this Five of Swords about? Good for you, Devil, Capricorn. What's this Three of Cups? Eight of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands? Magician. So you're, all right, your person is um, kind of, there's this restless quality, like they just want this situation behind them. And they're kind of wanting to really get, you're wanting to move forward and have new opportunities and, um, it feels business focused. It feels based on like wanting. It's almost like freedom for you means chasing something that can be providing a lot of stability for the future. And, and you're, you have a really positive outlook. Your person kind of is just tired of having been on lockdown. I don't know if that's relationship or if that's, um, in, you know, in, in general, what we're all going through with Rona Geddon, and they're just wanting to kind of do lots of stuff with lots of people, and they want things to change. They're kind of sick of the way things are, and they're just not in a good way right now. Like, they're, they're kind of just cranky and irritable, and they really don't want to sit home and think about this. And you're just like, you know what, you're actually in a very good position because you've got a lot of opportunity opening up for you. And you're fine with that because that's creating more distance from this issue with your person. So this could be romantic or not, but you are, you both are going like this and you're glad for it. You're wanting to get that stability and secure that stability, whether it's with a person or a job. And honestly, job looks good, by the way. Um, and it's just like, you know what, out with the old in with the new. And it feels like you've got sort of the long view on this where it feels like your person is just wanting to get out there and be out and among again. They can't really see beyond socializing or partying or kind of doing sort of instant gratification type things. What's this devil for Taurus? What's this devil for Taurus? You're not wasting any time here. Why does it feel like you're moving on and your person's not though? It feels like you, you're already creating some distance between this situation and yet your person is not yet. Maybe they're not ready to move on yet. That's for Taurus. That's for Taurus. Because it, there's a Knight of Wands again. The thing is, I feel like you might have been open to resolution with this person, but they're feeling kind of like stuck on the way things were and they're wanting relief from thinking about it. Whereas you're like, okay, if you're not gonna 
you know, if you're not open to working things out, then I've already got some things lined up. That I like, I already know what I want to do. Either you're with me or I'm going to do it by myself, but I've got the long view on things here and I don't want to drag anybody with me. You're firmly looking forward. What else for Taurus? Because you're not wanting to drag any of this business forward. Eight of Cups. See, that's that. You're going this way, they're going that way. So you're not wanting to take this forward. Um, but it kind of seems like your person is want, is kind of stuck there and they aren't able to let it go. Whatever's going on, they're, they're having a hard time letting it go. And they're not, they're being kind of stubborn. And I think that's why they're looking for a quick fix because they're not ready to let go of things. So they just want a, an easy distraction rather than, oh, I feel renewed and restored and I want to get back out there and create a new. They're not there yet. They're kind of stuck. They're stuck. And they're wanting situational relief, but they're not wanting to move on from the issue. They're, they're staying stuck on it, but they're wanting immediate distraction, but they're not wanting progress or moving on. After that night out with the friends, they're, they're going to go back and think about it some more. Whereas you're like, okay, onward. Maybe moving house. Maybe, you know, starting a new job, maybe coming up with your own job. But either way, it's being done with the past issues that were causing you to strife. You just, and the thing is, you'd be willing to work through things if the person could let go of it. But you're like, I'm not staying stuck with you. I'm not going to stay stuck with you. You can move forward with me, but I'm not going to stay stuck with you. All right, so what else for Taurus? Queen of Wands. I like it. Because this is you not staying stuck. This is you getting out there and getting after it. Not really because social distancing. But you aren't, there's no loss here. You're wanting, this could be Aries, could be Virgo. Um, you're wanting to move forward. You're, you're looking forward to the future. You've got big ideas about what you want to create as far as job, working from home, doing the job you have now differently, branching off into your own area of it, working from home. You've got big ideas and big designs and you're really liking the outlook and you're itching to get started. Some of it you're already starting from home anyway as much as you can, but this is a very productive Taurus that I'm reading for. You have got designs and you want to do the things socially, romantically, and business slash financially also. So you're, you know, and happy birthday to you, by the way. <laughs> um, but you're really wanting to create and go and do and move forward. Spring has sprung and you're wanting to get out there. And if you can't get out there, you know, physically, obviously, it's metaphorically, like planning for when you can get out there. So you're just going to take off like a rocket when you do. And good for you. Good for you. This is a reset. This has, this has the chance to be, I mean, I know some horrible tragedies, obviously. This also has a chance to be a reset, and you're taking full advantage of that. Nothing wrong with that. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? Ganesha. Clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. Yep, this is you cleaning house, getting new ideas, getting ready, taking the long view on things, preparing for a solid, stable um, state of abundance and willing to create that and to work for it in love, in romance, in work, in finances. Like you, holy cow. <laughs> it's like you're just really optimistic because you're just like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this staying stuck business anymore. And I'm not going to do the, the dance with the devil anymore. As you shouldn't. Good for you. Your person doesn't see it that way, though. They're just, and then no disrespect to cross, cross watchers. It's just that um, for the Tauruses I'm reading for, the person that you're dealing with, this could be about immaturity. It could be that they're just, um, it could be that the whole, the, the reason why you two broke up or aren't working is because You've got your eye on the future and what you want to do and create and have and the stability and your person's just looking for the next party on Saturday night or something. You know what I mean? Um, because it seems like they're wanting more of instant relief than they are taking the long view that you're taking. And 
that very well could be though that they're having a really hard time letting this go and moving it forward. So they're gonna stay stuck for a while. Maybe, you know, they're looking longingly out the window waiting for the day that they can get out there and just go see their friends again because that's all they're thinking about right now is just that's their way of creating distance from this situation with you. Um, that's their solution. Yours is to create, to do, to dream, all that. And theirs is just like, I just want to see my tribe again. I just want, I just want to be in a different space in time with my friends. So it could just be that. It could be that you two have different ways of getting emotional distance from something that's painful and moving on. All right, let's get towards. Okay, so we got 10 of pentacles. No, we don't. We have eight of pentacles reversed. <laughs> eight of pentacles reversed. And, oh, the death card. Yeah, this wasn't working. This was not working. It could be that effort was one-sided. Somebody was, you know, a very dynamic person and wanting, had some big designs on a future together. And you had someone else that just didn't want it to be that serious or didn't want to have to work that hard for what could be. And so the, it's... Yeah, someone would rather let it go than to um, transform, than to take the relationship to the next level, than to do what needed to be done to kind of take the relationship to the next level. So for you, Taurus, you're like, okay, well, all right, I understand. I'm moving on in a big way. Very optimistic. All that hard work you've been doing and all that, it's like you're ready to just catapult out of the gate. A lot of it maybe was preparation. I don't know, but there's there's something you've been liberated or set free, and you are ready. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're so ready. <laughs> as soon as you can get out there and do, and you've already started planning for it, if not from home. So I just this is a very good um, money productive period for you, also. Not just for April to mid May. We're talking like for you know the better part of the the year, the calendar year. You're starting something, and it's gonna work well for you it's gonna pay off and you're pretty excited about it all right okay Taurus I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading if you are an essential worker or um, first responder I thank you very much for your service and your help and much love and support to you all I hope to see you in the next reading take care